Bernardinska Street in Bydgosk. Bernardinska Street is an historic axis of Bydgosk's old town. It bears many historical buildings, of which several are listed on Kyavian Pomeranian Heritage List. Location Bernardinska Street delimitates the eastern edge of the Bydgosk's old town. It extends along a north south axis from Jagiellonian Roundabout to Bernardinsky Roundabout via Bernardinsky Bridge on the BRDA River. Its length is approx. 450 m. Naming the street bore the following names. 1870-1920, Kaiserstrasse, referring to Wilhelm I, German Emperor and King of Prussia. 1920-1939, Bernardinska Street. 1939-1945, Kaiserstrasse. 1945-1949, Bernardinska Street. 1950-1956, Julian Marchlewski Street. From 1956 Bernardinska Street, Bernardinska Street gets its name from the Bernardine Monastery inhabited by monks from 1480 to 1829. Today still stands the Church of Our Lady Queen of Peace in Bernardinska Street. History Bernardinska Street was born from a mid-19th century project to extend the road connecting the old town to the suburbs. In addition, the construction of the Prussian Eastern Railway line passing through Bydgosk's in 1851 and the building of the main station in the northwest of the city emphasized the need of a new bridge over the BRDA River so as to abate the traffic in Mostoa Street and its narrow bridge. The eastern location was selected because of the need to reach the newly created suburbs in the 1830s. On December 7, 1855, an official application was filled for the construction of the new in the area of the former Bernardine Monastery. Many official and financial difficulties associated with the definition of the course of the street and acquisitions of terrain made the project drag on, coming to completion only 20 years later, 1875. Another problem has been to cover the cost of most Bernardinsky, the bridge over the BRDA River, which was a key element of the route, Russian authorities conditioned the approval of the project upon the realization of a single span bridge structure, leaving the navigation on the river open and safe. The issue has been solved only in 1866, with a promise from the Prussian government to fund the bridge. Construction work for the bridge started in 1867, first steel elements set on May 15, 1870, and the final completion of the Bernardinska Street occurred in 1872. The new axis was named Emperor Street, in German Kaiserstrasse, in honor of William I, at that time newly proclaimed Emperor of the German Empire. Main Places and Buildings Tenement at Endagon A. 20th Century Modern Architecture the house has been raised in 2019 to give way to the construction of the tram line on Kujoska. Tenement at Endig 3. 1893-1905 by Karl Bergner Neo Baroque. Bernardine Church of Our Lady Queen of Peace. Registered on Kyavian Pomeranian. Heritage List Endig 601227 Reg. A slash 674 March 4, 1931, and six hundred one thousand two hundred twenty eight Reg. A slash 674 September 30, 1992, mid-16th century. Polish Gothic architecture, Renaissance architecture. The origin of the church dates back to the arrival in 1480 of Bernardine monks in Bydgosk, coming from Krakow. The decision to invite Bernadines was made by King Casimir Roman for Jagiellon, while staying in Bydgosk's castle during the Thirteen Years' War 1454-66 against the Teutonic Knights. On December 5, 1480, W. Locklock's Bishop Zbigniew Olsnicki granted the erection in Bydgosk's of a Bernadine monastery, the third one in Poland after Krakow's and Warsaw's. 
Official founders were King Casimir Roman for Jagiellon, Hinksa from Ragau, Jarand from Pomian, Bydgoskses, Starost Jan Kosilecki, and Bydgosks City Council. Extract from a Bernardine Monastery Chronicle. On the other side of the Brda River, Qjoy settled down our brothers. A place was given to them with the consent of His Majesty the Polish King Casimir Roman for Jagiello, his most reverend Zbigniew Olsnicki, Bishop of W. Laclaw. His Episcopal Majesty arrived together with his brother Mikkel Bal and his brother Stanislaw from Klobuk, you are a famous of preacher, and two other brothers, designated by order of His Majesty to choose the place according to their taste. Attending also were its highness Jan Kosilecki, governor of Bydgosks. There, the brothers chose a place convenient to the monastery as they saw it. The construction of St. Jerome and St. Francis Church has been completed in 1485 and the monastery library in 1488. The original temple was made of brick, as depicted by notes of a preserved chronicle of Bernardine brothers of the order after receiving permission for the construction of the convent performed bricks prepared lime cleared the bushes like often the bernardine monastery created an outstanding environment for intellectual culture development in bydgosks in the years 1518 1524 the abbey was led by Bartholomew of Bydgosks, a scholar, author of the first Latin Polish dictionary, 1532 1544. During the 17th century, the abbot, Paul of Lexica, was an active supporter of urban decorations, founder of the extensive gardens of the monastery, which were ancestors of today's Bydgosks parks. The Bernardines created the largest library in the city 1919 volumes, partially preserved until today at the Municipal Library, and established a rhetoric school 1529-1774, an observatory 1677, and a brewery. On August 10, 1545, a lightning stroke the abbey, causing a fire that burned down the church and a large part of the monastic buildings. The only buildings left were the library along with the vestry and the infirmary. On September 23, 1552, Sigismund Roman II Augustus granted permission for the reconstruction of the burned Bernardine church, with a caveat to its height that should not be taller than the neighboring castle for military defensive purposes. Its architecture reflects Gothic and Renaissance characteristics. St. George Church was built from 1552-1557. Temple name was then changed to Holy Trinity. On September 10, 1559, Sebastian of Zydowo, a suffragan of Nizno, consecrated the Holy Cross altar in the church, and in 1563, bell founder Hermann Binnink from Gdansk cast the great bell of the monastery. The completion of the reconstruction lasted till the years 1590-1602. At that time, city nobleman Stanislaw Maltsiewski unveiled the altar of the Holy Cross in the newly built saint and chapel on the south side of the church. The chapel is still standing today. In 1595, Dorothy of Splosky, Jan Kosilecki's wife, the starost of Bydgosks, decorated the chapel of the convent with polychrome and three green rugs. The same year has been also erected the saint and brotherhood altar. Damaged during Swedish wars, the building has been rebuilt and renovated in the second half of the 17th century. The Western Church Peak was made taller 1648-1686. The church tower was rebuilt with a square body 1677, as it is today. In 1682-1685, to commemorate the 1683 Battle of Vienna, a chapel was built in the courtyard in front of the church, modeled after the sanctuary in Loreto. Under Prussian rule, Seven altars were reported in the church, with a rich decor and a collection of liturgical objects. 
According to a site survey carried out in 1745, the church was covered with tiles, the sanctuary having a ceramic floor with aisles made of wood. In 1605, in the choir, was set a pipe organ founded by Andazeg Grudzinski and Daniel Jastazebski town citizens. It was enlarged in 1618, then completely renovated in 1715. It survived until the secularization of the church decided by Prussian authorities. Until the end of the 18th century, the crypt was used to bury religious members of the Bernardine Monastery, along with regular people who deserved to be honored by the convent and the church. Most important figures are buried under the floor of the church, including, among others, Paul Kosaki, 1609, Secretary of the King, and Poznan Wojcicki, Lord of the Royal Village of Bartizie near Bydosk. Kalaj Jastazebski, 1610, Disciple of Bernardine Observance. Kazimierz Dornowski, 1695, Nobleman. Katarzyna Raksinska, 1695, Wife of a Judge from Naklo Nad Notitia. Katarzyna Orzelska, 1703, Noblewoman. Stanislaw Pininski, 1715, Burgrave of Bydosks. Mikhail Komirovsky, 1766, Nobleman. Teresa Grabowska, 1769, Royal Favorite. The main church suffered damages in 1812. In 1817, with the secularization decided by Prussian authorities, the expropriation of the Bernadine religious property happened but only at the death of the last monk of the congregation, Father Nagabzinski, in 1829. The Abbey have then provided sanctuary for the Evangelical Community 1830 and for Evangelical Seminary teachers. The cloister and the arcades connecting the church to the monastery were destroyed at this time. In 1840-1860, buildings were turned into a warehouse for furniture, straw or cartridges. The same happened to the Poor Clares Church on Giganska Street. In 1838, the church has been dedicated to the garrison's use for Catholic and evangelical soldiers in German simultankirch. Later, the Prussians destroyed the Lorito Chapel and deeply rebuilt the interior of the church. From 1864-1866, the church was completely restored under the supervision of Ferdinand von Quast with Prussian funds. The main effort was the reconstruction of the western gable with Gothic revival features. This gave this circular tower with its porch and the neo-Gothic peak, as we can notice today on the main elevation. After 1920, Polish authorities confirmed the use of the church for garrison purposes, as it is still used today. The church has been re-consecrated in 1923 by military bishop Stanislaw Gall. In 1926, it was renamed St. George Military Parish Church. During World War Roman II, the building has been administered by the German War Ministry, and after 1945, it served again as Polish Army Garrison Church. In 1952, a rector has been nominated for the church, re-consecrated to St. George on May 31, 1971. The church was built according to late Gothic style. The oriented building without transept has got plastered blind openings, friezes, and bands panes. From the north to the chancel stands a square church tower with a 17th century bell tower. The top of the main facade is crenellated with neo-Gothic pinnacles built in 1864-1866.
The southwest corner of the church has a cylindrical tower, topped with a brick spire. Nave windows incorporate neo-Gothic traceries. Inside, the nave church is built with groin vaults. The walls are covered with 17th-century tombstones. Adjacent to the church stand the old remaining buildings of the Bernardine Monastery and the chapel of St. and built at the end of the 16th century. In the church is the oldest fresco heraldic of the city, an eagle from the first half of the 17th century. In 1967, archaeological excavations, the south of the church revealed foundations of the Loreto Chapel, remnants of cloister galleries and a former municipal water oak pipe from the 16th century. In 1999, were discovered underground crypt burials. The oldest object is a Rococo pulpit from the second half of the 18th century. Other furniture have moved to the cathedral in the 1850s. St. Rock Altar 1696 in the southern nave, right of main entrance gate. St. Anthony Altar beginning of 18th century in the southern aisle, left of main entrance gate. Building at Endig 6. Registered on Kyavian Pomeranian, Heritage List Endig 601266, Reg. A slash 675 September 30, 1992. 1867-1872 Historicism, Elements of Neo-Gothic and Neo-Romanesque. The building was erected in the late 1860s for the Evangelical Seminary teachers, linked to a medium-sized state school in Bromberg. The seminar has been created on May 1, 1820, one of three centers of this type in Grand Duchy of Posen. The facility trained teachers for urban and rural elementary schools. From 1822, the Prussian ministry began to part from the evangelical education institutions, where youth of all faiths were attending. In Bromberg, it was decided that the seminary would educate evangelical teachers, while in Poznan, the same institution was converted into a school for Catholic teachers. In Bromberg, a separate Catholic seminary would be created later on. The seminary took quickly the character of a German Protestant philosophy institution from 1825. Nearby, the ancient Bernardine Monastery housed in 1830 a Lutheran community. In the years 1867-1872, while partly rebuilding the monastery, an evangelical seminary was also constructed in the vicinity. At that time, it was a three-year curriculum. Seminary was financed from state resources. Courses, apart from general and pedagogical subjects, also considered singing, music instruments, as well as horticulture and handicraft. Between 1870 and 1872, the new Bernadinska Street was built on the western side of the building, and in 1880, on the front square was unveiled a war memorial to commemorate the officers and soldiers who died on the fronts of military campaigns conducted by Kingdom of Prussia Second Schleswig War in 1864, Austro-Prussian War in 1866, and Franco-Prussian War in 1870-1871. The monument has been liquidated in 1922, at the same place has been standing since 1925 the monument of the unknown insurgent of the Greater Poland Uprising. After 1920, when by Gosks was rejoined the Poland, massive outflow of Germans from the city let the Protestant seminary for teachers useless. The building then housed in 1923 the University of Agriculture coming from Poznan. It was a two, five-year-long school, which accepted applicants over the age of 17, having completed the sixth class of high school and one year of general practice in the farm. The curriculum changed to three years for boys as a state secondary school of agriculture. In 1927, 86 students were enlisted, of which 46 coming from rural area. In 1935, 
the institution was transformed into a state high school farm, the first in the country, culminating with the mature examination, which grants the access to university. The school building provided excellent housing conditions. On the back of the property was a large vegetable and fruit garden. In addition, the school had its own 90 ha farm in the vicinity of Bydgosks. During Nazi occupation, the building housed the German labor office. For the end of World War Roman II, the Polish labor office has been standing there, then a technical equipment department. In the late 1960s, the edifice has accommodated a branch of the University of Life Sciences in Poznan, focusing on agriculture and animal husbandry. In 1971, with the return of the Agricultural College to Poznan, the institution became an independent branch of the University of Bydgosks as a Faculty of Agriculture Division of Zootechnics. Department headquarters were located in the building at Bernardinska Street 6, with other facilities in Hetmanska and Mazowiecki Streets as well as in Osilsko. At that time, it employed 80 teachers. In 1974, after the merger of the College of Engineering with Bydgosk's Faculty of Agriculture, the building housed the seat of the Department of Agriculture of Bydgosk's University. In 1975, this department was the first at the university to be granted the right to confer doctoral degrees in agricultural sciences. In 1991, some departments were transferred to the new university facility in Forden and to a building on Kordeki Street. Since 2006, the edifice houses the Department of Agriculture and Biotechnology from the University of Technology and Life Sciences of Bygosks. The building displays characteristics from historicism with elements of Neo-Gothic and Neo-Romanesque. Its footprint is rectangle, with a basement and two stories. The front avant core is topped by a triangular, with a tower which used to house a bell. Front upper floor in the avant core has got arched windows. Brick facades are divided by narrow pilasters and decorated with arcade cornices. Bernardinsky Bridge, 1872. The construction of the bridge was planned to relieve the bridge of the old town linking the old marketplace Polish Stary Rynek to the Theatre Square. Works started in 1867 with the necessity to realize a one-span bridge that does not hinder water navigation on the river. The roadway had a width of 7.32, with a pedestrian way based on cantilever beams. The steel bridge had two arched lattice girders, it was lit by four gas lamps standing on each side. The building was complete in 1872 under the name Kaiser Bruck, referring to William I, Emperor of Germany and King of Prussia. At the beginning of the 20th century, part of the renovation of the Whistler Oder waterway required to rebuild the bridge to meet the constraints of modern shipping. It was necessary to raise the structure above the water by 60 cm. The new bridge thus was reopened in 1903 and has stood till the outbreak of World War Roman II. It has been blown up on September 4, 1939, by Polish sappers from the 62nd Infantry Regiment in order to prevent German forces from crossing the BRDA. Provisionally rebuilt by Germans in autumn 1939, it has been again destroyed by the retreating Nazis on January 22, 1945. After World War Roman II, remains of the bridge have been extracted from the BRDA River and scrap. From 1945 to 1960, a temporary wooden crossing has been set up at the same location as today's bridge. The structure's rebuilding began in 1960, and was completed in 1963. The bridge has been built by overhangs, for the first time in the country, by means of movable scaffolding. The designer, Maximilian Wolff, received for it the second prize from the Committee for Construction, Urban Planning and Architecture. 
Bridge has reopened in December 1963. It had a middle track line for tramway, dual carriageway road with two lanes each and sidewalks for pedestrians. Partial repair occurred in 1968, a full overhaul in 2000. Since 2005, the structure is illuminated by night. Old building of Bygosk's Rowing Association. Registered on Kyavian Pomeranian, Heritage List Endig 601291, Reg. A slash 1091 January 18, 1994 corner of Bernardinska Street, Swiatigo Floriana Street. 1914, by Theodore Patswald. Historicism. The building has been erected by the architect Theodore Patswold for the German rowing club Frithjof established in 1894. The club joined from 1923 to 1945 the Frithjof Rowing Club, a German rowing association. After World War Roman II, the edifice has housed the Bygosks Rowing Association, or BTW Polish Bygoski Towarzystwo Wiaslarski, born on March 16, 1920, under the name Triton Rowing Association Polish, or Zistwo Wiaslarzy Triton by Gosks. In 1996, the building has been sold by municipal authorities to a company, Shanghai Alim Poland, which set up a hotel and a catering center for Chinese people traveling in Poland and around Europe. In 2010, the building became a hotel with a gastronomic restaurant Zatoka the Gulf, building at Plak Kasi Lekic Endigate. Registered on Kyavian Pomeranian, Heritage List Endig 601370, Reg. A slash 888 June 21, 1993 corner of Bernardinska Street and Kasi Lekic Square. 1890 by Karl Mayer. Neo-Gothic. The building was constructed from 1890 to 1892 on a design by architect Karl Mayer. By 1920, it served as the first school for girls in German Erst Mansion von Volkstuhl. In 1921, the building housed a Polish primary school K. Peromoics. It was a seven-class primary school. By 1930, it functioned together with the German Evangelical Primary School, located in a wing of In 1933, were created two schools of mixed girls and boys' pupils. During German occupation, the edifice accommodated for some time a prison, then in 1945 a military hospital. After World War Roman II, it housed primary school No. 8 Tadeusz Kosciusko with the school Endigate in 2004, and after considering to lodge their city's appeal court, it has been eventually decided to put a secondary school of organization and management. Since 2007, the building also houses the Museum of Freedom and Solidarity in Bydgosks. In 2010, the building has been transferred to the ownership of Bydgosks's University Casimir the Great, the building's architecture is characteristic of 19th century's public buildings in Bygosks, with references to the Neo-Gothic and Neo-Romanesque. The designer Karl Mayer has been influenced by the Hanover School of Architecture, characterized by brick facades and absence of exterior plaster, decorative sculptures and colored surface. Karl Mayer also realized several other edifices in downtown Bygosks, among others. Others, 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 House at Gdanska Street 60. House at August Sieskowski Street Endig 6. By Gosk's Water Supply Station, along with Architect Marshall. The building has an L shape with wings two-story, a basement, and an attic. 
The elevation is divided by pilasters and adorned with brick-made friezes running under the cornice, like dentals. Avant core are topped with crow-stepped gable, typical of Carl Mayer's works. Holiday in Hotel. Brodska St. 36, corner with Bernardinska Street. 2010. Modernism. This four-star hotel of 138 rooms has been built in 2010 at the eastern tip of Grodska Street. Building at Endig 13. 1964. Modernism. This office building has been constructed by company Projfism S.A. on a design by project architect Whittle Jankzak on the corner of Bernardinska and Sterry Port Street along the BRDA River. It has been thoroughly modernized in 2004. Company Projfism S.A., established in 1948 as an engineering office, has become in 1990 a joint stock company, listed on Warsaw Stock Exchange. Building at Endic 15. 1955. Modernism. The building of the Computation Center of Polish Post Office has been built in the years 1955-1957, and thoroughly modernized between 1994 and 1995. At its birth in 1920, in 1935, its name has been changed to Accounting Chamber of Control of Post and Telecommunications Polish, is the Kontroli Ratchinkowicz Poksty i Telekomunikacji, and 1951, Central Bureau of Posts and Telegraphs Settlements Polish, Centralny Bureau Rozrachunkow Pokst i Telegrafo. Since Polish post restructuring in 1991, the building in Bydgosk's houses an organizational unit of the company.